Well, we're here doing an on-the-spot interview at VMworld 2018. I'm here with Andrew Hajak. Is that how you say it? <laughs> uh, closer, Red Sai, actually. Red's been a part of the audience at Backup, which is quite some time. I've seen you rolling around on the social media for a while, and you're doing a presentation here at VMworld this year on NSXT in the data center. Yes. Give me two minutes of that presentation magic you're about to do. What are you going to talk about? So we're going to talk about, well, very basically, just the deployment of NSXT. Yeah. And then we're really going to get into what you could do with automation and orchestration. So once you have it installed in your data center, what can you actually do with it? Right. You know, you don't want to have to always go through the GUI. We're, we're talking about in the industry now having orchestrators and, and a way to be able to bring all these different components together for your data center yeah. and make it better. One so. of the things that I've heard someone say is that NSXT is really different from NSXV. And you've sort of got to understand that NSXT is a different animal and you've got to come at it from a different way. Is that true? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, you know, now that you have the ability to be able to tie into things like KVM, uh, you know, you can go into the, the VMC and AWS now. You have so many different uh, containers. Like you have yep. so many different ways that you can do it that you really have to rethink your strategy because mm -hmm. it's not just VMware-centric. You're not right. just using your vSphere environment anymore. Right. So it's a multi-platform strategy. In the NSXT is for bare metal Linux. They announced that this week. It's for bare metal. It's for AWS. Yep. And so now you can start to use that inside of your container environments. Can NSXT connect to your NSXT? V hosts. Can you interoperate them, or is it at this point in time still two separate, it's, but coming together? It's it's slowly coming together, but it's not there yet. But you know that's obviously iterative improvement. Yeah. As the product grows, the rest of the customers grow too. So it's a feature in movement, in progress would be the best way. To Absolutely. Do it. So you could. So if you're out there listening to this, you might want to. As I've said about NSXT, <laughs> don't rush in. Take your time. <laughs> It's coming, it's in a different process getting there in the end. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it's you can get comfortable with the environment, mm. start to learn it because it's going to become the most popular thing in my opinion. Yeah. And it, it's just a great scaling product uh, and, and you can see the maturation of how NSX was from B to T. Mm -hmm. It really is there when you start to really, really run the product. Okay, so tell people what your session number is so that they can go and uh, look it up on VMworld Live and get the playback. Oh man, I think I'm going to screw this up. It was a uh, net 2518BU um, NSXT automation and deployment. Uh, less is from IHS Market. And that's, and how they spell your last name, so they can maybe oh, search on that. It's H-R-Y-C-A-J. Uh, <laughs> Thanks very much, Andrew. Good to meet you. Thanks so much.